Hey guys, welcome to this video. Kathleen Kennedy has a lot to say actually about the sequel trilogy continuation of Ray's solo movie. Um, she goes on to talk about Luke, she goes on to talk about actually what the story is about and into a bit of detail. You know, sequel fans will enjoy and rejoice and you know, anyways. May the force be with us all. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy has addressed whether Mark Hamill's Luke will return in a galaxy far, far away. Daisy Ridley's upcoming return to the Star Wars franchise for her own standalone film, which will find Rey working to reestablish the Jedi Order 15 years after the rise of Skywalker, was one of the biggest announcements to come out of last week's Star Wars celebration. What? The exciting news left fans wondering if Luke would make an appearance via flashbacks or as a Force ghost following his death in The Last Jedi. Hamill reprised his role in Nine when Luke appeared before Rey after he discovered her true lineage. But despite the possibilities, Kennedy told IGN that it's not yet clear whether Luke will return. And I'm on a toss up on this, you know, like, and I'll explain my, my points once we read everything, because there's, there's a bit here to actually go off of. I don't know if we'll spend a lot of time in flashbacks or on force ghosts or things like that, but certainly the spirit of what he represents to her is going to be significant. So how lovely, the spirit of Luke Skywalker will live on in the Rey Solo movie. Of course it's gonna live on. He's Luke Skywalker, even though he was Jake Skywalker in the sequels in my opinion. Should he return? This is where I'm in a toss up and there, there's a lot more, a lot more to go off. Should he return? On one hand, no, because I don't think that they're really gonna do anything good. I think they'll just do more damage. On the other hand, I, of course, I want to see Luke. I always want to see Luke because, you know, there's the possibility that he's going to be portrayed really well, you know, written really well. And it comes down to that writing. Now, I don't know anything about this writer for the Ray movie. I just don't think that bringing Luke back as a force ghost or any sort of prominent role will really have a good effect on anything. And I say this simply not because I don't want to see Luke, simply because I'm afraid of what more damage they could do to his character. I'm very surprised that she would even say that, you know, we don't know if Luke will come in, but of course she's not gonna, you know, reveal something that could be like a cameo or like a warm little thing in the movie. I'm pretty sure he'll return. Probably 100% sure that he's going to make some sort of an appearance or voice or something in the film. Maybe even with the other Force Ghosts, like Yoda and all that. Frankly, I don't want to see it. I just want them to be left out. I think they've done enough damage on those characters, and I just want them to move on and rest in peace. Well, we're 15 years out from Rise of Skywalker, so we're post-war, post-First Order, and the Jedi are in disarray. The question is, why are the Jedi in disarray? What's been going on in these 15 years? So the Jedi don't really, I don't want to say they don't exist, because we got Broom Boy. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? But they don't, they're not really found. Like, it's just, it's the same old story of rebuilding a Jedi Order, right? So you have to go out, you have to find Force Sensitives, or you got to go out like Cal Kestis and maybe find a holocron that has the information of all Force Sensitives. Vader did this as well in the comics. He found it actually in the Jedi Temple that Jocasta knew was protecting, and he ended up destroying it himself. So will she do something like this, go on some sort of a mission to some Imperial archives and find the names of Force Sensitive children around the galaxy and find them and try to rebuild a Jedi Order of her own? Will Kylo Ren make an appearance? How? I I don't know, but you know, in the books they did allude to something that could bring back the dead, and I made a video about this years ago. It was in one of the uh, Secrets of the Sith. Personally, I think, you know, Kylo Ren coming back would be fun, it would be good. I think he was one of the coolest characters of the sequel trilogy, and for bringing Luke back, you know, I, I think on one hand we had The Last Jedi, which was Jake Skywalker. Absolutely destroyed his character in my opinion, and you may disagree and that's fine. On the other hand, we had Episode 9, which tried to outdo literally everything in 8 and cancel everything in 8. So, you know, this is why a lot of Star Wars fans who liked Episode 8 disliked 9 and vice versa, because they all kind of like fight with each other, and this is part of the mismanagement of the sequel trilogy. I feel like they're starting to maybe get a grasp on who Luke Skywalker really is, you know, unless you're Dave Filoni or John Favreau, it seems like people at, at Disney and Lucasfilm don't really understand who he is or who his character is, in my opinion. Now, with episode nine, I feel like they've got a little bit more consensus now as the years have passed as to how his character should be handled. Unfortunate that they didn't see this sooner, you know, when they were making the sequel trilogy. But anyways, I have to say, you know, I'm in a toss up here and I, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think they will damage his character by putting him in more? I think they could. Or do you think they've learned their lessons and on the other hand, they're like very aware now of what to do and what not to do, what lines to write for Luke and what to have him definitely not say. I, I don't know. You know, episode nine, when it came out, I really liked it simply on the fact that Luke raised the X-Wing 
denounced the fact that, a, you know, he said a Jedi's weapon deserves more respect, which was absolutely ridiculous to have said the opposite in, well, not even said the opposite, throw the freaking lightsaber over his shoulder and all the other crap that he said in eight. So he's pretty much alive. Being a force ghost, it's kind of, you know, there's no point in being alive anymore at this point. You're more powerful as a force ghost because you can't die anymore. And you can literally do everything you could do when you were alive. So I don't know, you can sit on stuff, you can grab stuff, you can raise stuff with the force. What's the difference? You know, I mean, Yoda can shoot lightning out of the sky. Really, you're more powerful. Maybe this is like the next phase, like Super Saiyan Blue or something like that. So in my opinion, I'm sure we'll see Luke. There is no way that they'll do this movie without seeing Luke, you know, in some sort of capacity. But do I want to is the question. I'm very skeptical. There's a lot of discussion around who are the Jedi? What are they doing? What's the state of the galaxy? She's attempting to rebuild the Jedi Order based on the books, based on what she promised Luke. So that's where we're going. Now, what are these books, you may ask? These books are not Legends books. These books are the, the sacred texts that Luke burned in this in the temple, not this temple, in the temple. And then he's like, the sacred Jedi texts, when he was literally just about to blow it up. Actually, Yoda burned it. It's been a while since I thought of Last Jedi. So Rey took those books and she had them at the end of The Last Jedi. And she's what that's what she used to build her crystal and read from in episode nine. And these are what she's going to be learning from, I guess, going forwards to rebuild her own Jedi order. These are all things I wish we would have seen Luke do in the sequel trilogy. And this brings me to Dave Filoni's movie. I think this is what Dave is going to do with his movie. I think he's going to have us see, you know, what we wanted to see for Luke Skywalker, what we've been waiting to see for, you know, 30 plus years that him, Han and Leia probably deep faked because their technology is just getting pretty state of the art will return most likely in Dave Filoni's movie and I would be very shocked if they didn't in some capacity now the fact that that's a movie is great because it's not going to be a dragged out show with like you know 30 minutes of basically just character development and then you know five to ten minutes of actual progression and action and uh you know proper character development so yay for movies because I, I feel like they should come back but as for this Ray movie I'm really in the air about it I don't really know what to think um I despise the sequel trilogy. I think it's a really big slap in the face to George Lucas and how they handled everything and what they did with Luke Skywalker as a character. Do I like Kylo Ren? Absolutely. I think he's probably one of my top five characters, favorite characters in all of Star Wars. I, I just wish they would have actually used his character development a little bit better and they would have explained and showed a little bit more to do with him in the movies than, you know, he died. So just kind of like Luke. Am I going to see this movie? Yes. Am I excited for it? Absolutely not. Do I care about Rey and what she does? No. And that's, you know, simply because I'm a sexist male. No, it's because her character was written so poorly that I don't care about her character anymore. It's simply because she seemed like she bested Luke in so many different scenarios and he was just this mopey little guy that really wasn't my Luke Skywalker, as Mark Hamill said. So I would like to personally see something several hundred years after the sequel trilogy, you know, start fresh, start the slate clean, kind of like a Dune, which was, you know, a big inspiration for Star Wars to begin with. I'm not really for this movie, but I'm going to see it, of course, and I, I want to, you know, get my take on it and be able to talk about it and know exactly what I'm talking about. So I just hope they don't do any more damage to Luke's character. But um, we'll see what happens, man. You guys let me know in the comments. Do you want Luke to show up or are you done with it? What do you think the, sh the movie is going to be about? Like, who's going to be in the antagonist? Or is it just going to be Rey trying to find herself and, you know, build the Jedi Order again? Which is what I was hoping Luke would have done. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching my thoughts. And I'll see you in the comments and on Twitter at Real SW Theory. Catch you later.